Man United 1, Watford 4. Four, I said. Watford, Elton John's club. Oh, these man keep breaking my heart. They're trying to make man cry. Oh my goodness. Are we not embarrassed enough? Deddington's. The only team that plays worse than us is us the next game. How can every week be the worst performance we ever see from United? This is innovative garbage. Creative ineptitude. Tantalizing trash. Oli literally makes us worse every week. This smiling viking. Oli the inept is the anti-code. He is reverse engineering football. You're supposed to score goals and not concede. Keep the ball and pass it. Win games and win titles. That's the name of the game. We don't do any of that stuff. We don't score goals and we concede nothing. We don't keep the ball because Oli picks man that couldn't pass win. We don't win games. How the hell are we going to win titles? Everything is backwards at this club from top to bottom. Nonsense. Woosa, woosa. Let me circle myself. Everything is always better after a good night's sleep. And it's a new dawn. It's a new what, day. Man? It's a new life for me. And I am feel. I am very feel. I have managed to find three positives to this battering at Watford. Positive number one. Donny, my Donny. Our man of the match. He scored the final goal under Oli. You know what that is? Poetic justice. Poetic justice. We all knew Van der Beek was a baller, but Oli didn't trust it. He needs to hear this. Ball is not just a word, you have to complete some passes. McFred is what you prefer. Are you blind? You need some glasses. Oh my goodness, what a performance. Within 12 minutes, he'd already had a better season than McFred. How has he only played 17 minutes this season? In one half of football, he scored. He created numerous chances. He won all his tackles and he completed his passes. Oli tried to turn him into Donny van der Bench. For 18 months, he has tried to tell him to be humble. Sit down. Hey, be humble. Sit down. He tried to kill Donny's vibe. Kill Donny's vibe. Kill Donny's vibe. But enough is enough. Donny stood up and told me I got, I got, I got Johan Cruyff and Van Basten inside my DNA. Ajax Academy and first team inside my DNA. IQ and technique, Dutch pedigree inside my DNA. All I know is tech and full respect is just my DNA. You gotta love it. Damn, he who laughs last, laughs the longest. And Donny is grinning right now. There is no way there is another football coach on earth that chooses McFred over him. Impossibly. Positive number two. Slab Heady one put the final nail in his own coffin. Soop, soop. Oh, how I hate Harry. How many points have the team dropped many? We can't rise up the league with the slab. Clearly the weight of his head's too heavy. Bro, bro plays like an up boy. Swear he got found out already. Can't believe man thought he was a boss. He got set off. Unclever lay. Harry Maguire has to get out. This Dennis the menace in the face. Dennington needs to tootsie slide the hell out of him. This Dennington is wreaking havoc on our defence. But he is taking the whole pack of biscuits now. His touch was so poor that it got him sent off. It took him ages to close a two yard gap. Hot stinking garbage. 80 million British pounds. What for? For Watford to give him what for? Well, they gave us for. And then he throws the captain's armband on the ground. And the manager spuds him as he walks down the tunnel. Oh, this Deddington is finished at this club. And he definitely isn't playing the next league game at least. Hallelujah! I can't watch this Deddington ever play for us again. He needs to leave with Oli. Do us all a favor, please. Get out of here, man. Thank you, please. About cupping your ears like say you silent some critics. You didn't. Someone scored against fishermen and Uber drivers. So what? You come back and got mocked by Josh King and Emmanuel Dennis. Oh, the cheek of this Mickey Ficky. Positive number three. The biggest positive. Oli's gone. No more Oli Ball. No more Oli Ball. No more Oli Ball. This smiling Viking warrior. The bravest of all Viking warriors I've ever seen. Ragnar Lofbrook had nothing on Oli. He has survived so many battles. He survived the lashing by Leicester. He survived the slaughter by the Scouts. And he survived the massacre by the Mank neighbors. But the washing by Watford was a loss too much. Oli is finally going to Valhalla. I was starting to think he was immortal with no technique. Woo! Doors. Yeah. When I rise on boss, we have to give thanks like we're really supposed to be thankful. Now I'm not gonna kick a man while he's down. Oli had left behind a strong squad and he tried his best. It was just beyond him. In the end, I felt sorry for him. Man was broken, and this is what I didn't want for him. That is the Glazers' fault. They hung him out to dry. I truly wish Oli the best in life. Just stay away from a football pitch. Thank you, please. Now this season is a write-off in November. The Glazers clearly have no succession plan, even though the writings have been on the wall since last season. Carrick is now in charge of at least the next game. It's all a mess. They have to get the next manager right. We have a good squad of players that just need to be coached properly bring in ten hog do whatever you need to do and do it quickly come on united thank you please